Hey you guys, Lois with Ellie Grace is Attic here with a lunchtime live. Today I've got a different type of crafty craft. I want to talk to you about handbags. <laughs> um, don't throw them away if they break. Let's try to fix stuff before we throw it out, okay? So um, normally I'm on here doing signs and crafts, but I thought, you know what? I need to fix my handbag, and so I'm going to show my friends how I'm doing it. Maybe this inspires you to fix one that is a favorite of yours uh, instead of having to throw it out. So uh, I'm kind of crazy. I love handbags of any kind, but not just, I won't go spend hundreds of dollars on a handbag. If you do, that is great. But I like to recycle, upcycle. I love thrifted handbags. And I got this handbag, oh my gosh, about a hundred years ago at the Goodwill. It's just a big, like gold tote. And I loved it for summertime. It's one of those, just it's got one pocket or one big uh, bag, and then it's got like a zipper pocket in there. It came from Belk originally. And um, yeah, I just love it. I've used it for about 100 summers now, and I think it may have cost me under $5. It was cheap, right, at the Goodwill. And so um, I brought it to an event last weekend, and I guess I've used it so much, it started breaking away right there. Okay, it's still connected really good. It just the the inside is showing. So I thought I really don't want to throw it away. I love this bag. So what can I do to fix it? So uh, and I've already done a couple of them because I wanted to test the glue before I got on live. But I got this. This is just leather um, or faux leather faux suede cording. And I got it at Walmart. I'm sure you can get it at Hobby Lobby or anywhere um, that craft supplies or are sold. Uh, it cost me like $3 and it had uh, black, it had gray, it had a tan, and it had this dark brown color, which is what I wanted. So I just grabbed all three because I thought surely I can use these again in another craft, right? So I got the whole packet because the, they didn't have this by itself. Now, in hindsight, I thought to myself that I probably could have dug out an old belt that I could have cut up and used for this project. That's a possibility. Um, maybe some ribbon. If you have ribbon, you could probably even get away with twine for this, but I just wanted the leather look. Um, I thought it would pair well with the gold, and so, uh, and I could still continue to use it. It would kind of be neutral, right? But you could probably even put fabric on here if you wanted, if you had something, a similar situation, uh, and you needed a fix. Now, like I said, before I got on live, I did a couple of them because I wanted to try my fabric fusion, and while I love my Aileen's fabric fusion, um, I've used it for a hundred projects, um, but it did not work well on this project. It just didn't hold um, like I wanted it to. So I got my hot glue gun fired up and that worked really well. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. I just took the cording, I took all of it off the color that I wanted. And I got my hot glue gun and I just put, I'm just gonna get you in the center here. I just put a thin line of hot glue right there in the, as close to the bottom as I could. I took my cording and just laid it right on top and held it down. Let it just set up right for just a second or two. And then once I felt like that was kind of set, I just took my in there, got all of it in my hand, and I just started wrapping. Now, I came around the first lap. I overlapped what I had done just to kind of help hold it in place with the glue. I kind of wrapped it around, and then I just kept wrapping, kind of pulling it snug. And I'm just wrapping, just kind of like making a little end cap on each of the straps, if that makes sense. 
And you know, once you're done with whatever you decide to put on here, you're gonna have like an, a little original handbag. It's okay if you overlap. I kind of think that gives it a kind of crafty, um, handmade look. Okay, so I just kept going around till I probably got like, I don't know, I think that's probably half an inch, three quarters of an inch. And on the last little bit, I'm gonna kind of make a little tail about an inch to work with. And then what I'm gonna try to do is loosen up that last little, um, I pulled it away, I loosened up that last little wrap around and tuck the tail in there so you're almost kind of crisscrossing it and pulling it tight, kind of almost uh, tying it off. And then I'm gonna come around the back, flip it over, and you can kind of, it's loose enough, you can kind of scrunch it together, get it where you want it. I'm gonna grab my hot glue gun and just gonna put a little bit kind of in the in in between the straps of leather, and I'm gonna come around, hold that down really good. It might take it a second. I got right at the tail. My little tail piece is wanting to bend up. So we're just gonna hold that down. And that's it. Look at that, you cannot tell where that cording was coming apart. And look how cute that looks. So there's that one. And then I did this side already. You can't even tell. So I have saved my $5 Goodwill tote bag for yet another summer. So I hope this inspires you to just use your imagination, see what you can do to fix it. I mean, what have you got to lose? Before you throw it out, try to fix it, and hopefully you end up with some sustainable fashion. All right, love you guys. I'll be back later this week with something crafty. Mwah.